Hi, my name is Aaron, and today we're going to be talking about two toolkit functions. And the toolkit function that we're going to be talking about is x cubed. Now, here's my graph for the x cubed right here. <clears throat> and first, you want to identify your domain, and your domain is the x, which is the x axis right here. So, domain would be x equals all real numbers and for your range which is the y axis that will be again all real numbers now for your x intercept x intercept is here the origin which is 0 0 as well as your y that's also Zero, zero. Now, if you're having trouble trying to determine if this is increasing or decreasing, you can type it into your calculator and it shows just type in x3, x cubed, hit graph. And as you can see from your graph, it goes up. So, this would be always and then as far as decreasing you would just write none because obviously it does not decrease the concavity which is basically the curves and the curve in the graph you, you can see both curve so you will write both and then for your asymptotes, there is none because none of them, none of your um, function for your graph come close to the x-axis, so you were writing none. Now, originally, I would show you how to vertically flip this graph. And basically, this would this what it would look like. And if I were to ask you to vertically, horizontally, excuse me, horizontally fl flip the graph, it would look something like this as well. Now, even though I color coordinated both the vertical and the horizontal flip, you still can't determine which has been horizontally or vertically flipped because they both look the same so what I did was I took it upon myself to show you a newer original graph that I drew and here you can see that my new original graph it shows y equals x and I just took any number so I took um, negative 4 plus 3 and you want your graph to look just like this you want your function to look just like this and you can um, set it as you can set it as x minus 4 cubed plus 3 and basically what you're saying is you're going up 3 and to the right 4 even though this says minus 4 the graph is going to take you to the right four. Now, when I want to flip it vertically, basically your function will look like this. It would be y equals now you want your negative to be on the outside it will be x minus 4 cubed plus 3 and then you when you flip it vertically your graph will look something like this
Now when you want to flip it horizontally, your function will look like this. Now, now you want your negative to be on the inside. So negative x minus 4 u plus 3. Then you graph will look like this. graph will look something like this. Now you can tell which is vertical and which is horizontal. Now what I want to show you is your up and down, left and right So first, you want to draw a new graph. So say I want to go up, I want to go left, one, and up four. This is how my see what do something like this you can see where it meets go to left four up four left one up four <coughs> now as far as your equation it looks something like be x plus 1 u minus oh excuse me plus 4 now if I want to say I want to move it I want to down 1 and to the right 4 and your equation will look like x minus 1 q minus 4 then you will graph that Oops. The graph looks something like this. 
so basically here you go today you just learned the several ways you can make the x q functions and the different graphs you can use to help you